Well, good morning. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. And as you can see, we're inside Lady Brian. Lou's looking very <laughs> summery. Oh. Good morning, everybody. With her famous vest tops on. <laughs> I wear them every day. Not the same one, obviously. Oh, well, yeah. But every day I have a vest top on. In fairness, it's glorious outside. It's beautiful. Oh. It was really cold last night, it went down to about 2 degrees, 1 degree, 0 degrees, somewhere around that. But today it's lovely, it's fresh, blue sky, sunshine, you not really see it out the window. Uh, but it's a busy day for us today, it's a busy week for us this week isn't it? Yeah. Because today is the last day on this mooring. Um, and it's time to venture off. On our summer adventures, yes, on mainly, our mainly getting to Great Haywood for this weekend, um, so we can trade. So, as you're watching this on Thursday, we should just be arriving in Great Haywood. Yep. Um, and tomorrow, if you're watching this on Thursday, is Good Friday, so we'll be ready for trading. So, yeah, it's it's kind of a frantic Rush. get get all the jobs done that we need to get done. Um, we need to go and get some shopping. Yeah. Oh. Get some fuel for the generators. That's my list. Yeah. It's a full list. Yeah, just a list of jobs that need doing. <laughs> things that we want to do while we're still on electric hookup. Get things charged. Um, yeah. So it is an absolute full on day today. And I've got belly ache. Yeah. You're not so good with your stomach today, are you? And I've got bad chest. <laughs> um. Yeah, and then we've got um, at least two eight, eight and a half hour day cruises starting tomorrow morning. So, yeah. and I don't know, is it 20 odd locks? Something like Something that. between 20 and 30 locks, I think we've got to get through. So, yeah, I've just started. You're probably wondering what, what this is. <laughs> It's not the light switch. This is actually it's the a toilet cord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, down the pan. It's the old um, aerial for the old internet. If you remember, um, I can't remember when we said we'd got new internet. And if I show you, we've got this. It's a new router, and it's a 5G router. And it's giving us some really good internet, isn't it? Yeah. Apparently there's no 5G in this area. <sighs> but we're on full 5G. Um, but it flicks between 4G and 5G. But we aren't, we've we been using it for two weeks, three weeks, three something weeks. like that now. And we didn't have an external aerial because the aerial that we had was only a 4G aerial for the old router. And that's what this is. It's coming out. Yeah. So uh, yesterday we got our new 5G aerial uh, and we're already getting reasonable speeds um, with someone walking past with a dog up to uh, We're already getting reasonable speeds um, but we're hoping with, with this new aerial in the right direction we should get really really good speeds. Now, bearing in mind that the internet here isn't great yeah, anyway. Oh, the internet is awful. It will give us a true test of what we can actually get. Although the, the, the Wi-Fi box at the moment, if I show you, if you can see it. Oh, it's just gone off. Oh, is it all gone off? Yeah, so we're flicking between. If that light's blue, we're on 4G. If it's white, we're on uh, 5G. So there you go, we're on 5G, oh, full no. signal. Now we're back to 4. So it's flicking around a bit. So, my first job, well I said the first job, we've actually done quite a bit, we've uh, we've emptied the toilet. Um, bagged all the rubbish up ready. Bagged all the rubbish because we're going to have a trip down to the services uh, and, and empty all the rubbish. Um, yeah, so my we're first take, my first job on camera. Yeah, my first job on camera is going to be try and get this, this aerial done um, because it'll be easier doing it here I think. Yeah. With our new big huge super duper. Oh. Yeah. Shall we show them the size of it? You'll see us coming guys, you will see us coming. I can't even lift it, it's that heavy. Yeah. It's ridiculously big. <laughs> it didn't look that big at picture, look at the state of that. <laughs> look at the state of that. But it, it's a pointing 
and it's a 5G aerial. And it, but it's all back, com backwards compatible, so it's 4G, 3G, 2G, all the rest of it. Uh, so we'll see how good it is. I'm hoping with it being that big, it's going to be absolutely fantastic, but we're going to find out. Right, I need to go and get that whipped out uh, and that new one put, put on the roof. And what are you up to now? I'm getting ready to go shopping. Right. And then I'm helping our friend. Um, it's been a busy day. I've, been, I've spent ages sharpening knives last night, didn't yeah, I? And sliced your finger. Yeah, I cut my finger again. Thanks, Pauline. <laughs> I'm, I'm spotting a pattern, me and sharp knives. You and sharp objects just don't go, do you? But I, 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 if I do say this from myself, I am really, really good at sharpening knives. <laughs> and people find out about this, don't they? And yeah. then they turn up with loads of knives and say oh can you sharpen these for me and yeah and i get them from absolutely blunt wouldn't even cut butter to like kind of razor sharp uh but inevitably it means i always end up cutting myself you did it on the last one wasn't it yeah it was the last one i did i think we did about eight or nine knives and it was the last one just as i'd finished maybe that's another thing you can put on your books knife sharpening yeah, knife sharpening, mm -hmm. axe sharpening, any kind of blade we can sharpen. We're doing all the jewellery cleaning now. And Just keep your fingers away. Yeah. I, if I do do that and people want it, I'll buy some of them. Um, they're like a, are they a Kevlar glove or something like that? Something they're a knife proof like that, yeah. glove anyway that you can't cut yourself. <laughs> you need them. Yeah. <laughs> right, enough chatting. I need to crack on. Come on, lad. Let's go. Uh, right, just a quick update. Um, the vinyl cutter's out because we're making some new uniform, new trading season, new bits of trading, new meeting people. We have got some new uniforms. So last year we had white uh, polo tops with uh, black logo and stuff like that. Uh, which looked fantastic, everything's white with black on, so it, it was in keeping with that. But it just wasn't practical because everything was just filthy. So this year we've gone for black polo tops with white, white vinyl. So while we're connected to power, the vinyl cutter's doing that. Once that's done, we'll weed all that out and iron that on because we can get the iron on while we're on mains power. Which means we don't have to start messing about um with um print generators on just to put an iron on so uh yeah that's that the aerial's done uh we'll go out and have a look at the aerial in a moment um yeah it, it, you'll definitely see us coming right lou's already gone out she's gone doing shopping picking up some fuel getting rid of rubbish getting dog food um so yeah busy 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 uh, right, so there is the new aerial, the uh, Wi-Fi. The one at the bottom is the uh, the old one. Obviously, the one at the top is the new one. So you're definitely going to see us coming with that one. Be interesting to see how it performs with the internet.
Where are you hiding you? Because I'm blinded by the sun. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, isn't it? No, it's freezing. It's not freezing. I've got layers on. If you watch Tuesday's vlog, you'll know that today we're not feeling great. We've both got colds. Both, like, all clogged up sinus-wise. Yeah, it's all Mine's just pounding. like sinus. And it ain't great. So uh, we've done bits of cruising and uh, bits of filming today, as you have seen. But we have found yet another beautiful yeah. spot in paradise. As you can see, it's beautiful. Dogs are loving it. Yeah. And uh, although that mooring where we've come from is absolutely amazing and fantastic, the dogs can't literally just get off the boat and run. Whereas here, they can. So they're having a really good exercise. They're having a good sniff and... Uh, yeah. The engine... Ugh. ...isn't playing ball. But this is the first time that we've run her in, in any kind of serious anger since we've done work on her. We've run the engine and we've took the boat out for a, a cruise, but not for the amount of hours that we've done today. It is now uh, four o'clock. Seven and hours. We, yeah, we left at nine o'clock this morning. Um, and yeah, she's still running hot, but she's running hot. I think that's the key. Um, so when we have um, emptied out the calorifier, put the hot water taps on, drained all the hot water out of the calorifier, obviously that fills with cold water, that has then cooled, helped to cool the engine down. All the temperatures and pressures are all back to normal, exactly as they should be, and then the engine just creeps up a little bit. So, I'm thinking either the thermostat is dodgy or the water pump's on its way out. So, uh, worst case scenario on that is it's going to be about £130 for a new water pump uh, if I can fit it myself. So, um, I've tried to do most things myself, we'll do this. But I'm just going to do a bit of investigative work. Investigative. Um, but we're going to have to limp up to Grey Harewood uh, because we have to be there to trade and we have to be there to earn some money to buy a water pump. Yes. Um, and unfortunately, because it's Easter, if I don't put the order in tomorrow, or for you guys yesterday, then it won't arrive today, which is Thursday, for you. Um, and I won't have it before Easter, and then obviously you've got the Easter, the Easter weekend, so it's gonna be next Tuesday before they'll post it out, and then I have to wait for it to be delivered somewhere, and then it be brought to me, so. We'll see, we'll see. We're not stressing about it, are we? But Mr. Cross liked. Yeah. Let's have a watch of the dogs. And here's Poppy with sporting her new summer look. Daddy uh, attacked her with the dubbers last night, the clippers, and uh, I don't think I've done too bad a job. I mean, I'm no, uh, I'm no dog groomer, but it'll do. We just have fine river. Where's river? River. Come on. Wiggly bum. What are you doing, river bobs? What are you doing? River bobs. No. No. She's more interested in eating She's grass. She's eating some grass. That's a beautiful spot, this. Yeah. Let me go and find Pat Shadow's pink snake. Yeah. I think I should. Uh, I should probably wash this side of the boat really, but even though it's four o'clock, I've got to go back into the workshop now and start uh, doing some more work and making some more orders. 